Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Well today we have part two of my biggest craft review and let's get started. So like I said this is going to be in three parts. This is part two. You saw part one this morning. So let's get on with part two. So we have, of course, I had to get more of these. These are my little, oh my goodness, some days. My little clips that I buy. People have been asking me, well, what store can I get those at? Well, you can get them at Biggest Craft. They're about 99 cents for two of them, so they're about 50 cents a piece. Love these things. I use them for diamond paintings. Not diamond paintings, I'm so sorry. Pre-stamp cross stitches and for my counted cross stitch to keep the excess fabric out of my way. I found that they're too thick to use for diamond painting to hold back your your uh, your plastic paper, you know, on your dime sorry, bad diamond painting. So I use my little magnets on my um diamond painting. But these I use for pre-stamped and counted cross stitch. So, love them. Put them in my little jar there. Like I said, they're, oh, sorry, we're going to get it yet. Uh, they're like a dollar for two of them. So, not too bad at all. Now, the next thing I got was a pair of long, skinny, pointed needles. Or, needles. Scissors. Hello. Let's see if I can get it open without undoing it yeah and these scissors were $6.99 and they come this is kind of an antique gold they come in a couple different colors you know as I don't know if it's rose gold or bright gold and then maybe a silver but that point is very very sharp very very sharp and I thought it was nice and long and skinny I wanted to see how flat it was so to, if I could use it for um, you know like if I had to take something out of a counter cross stitch then puppies are sharp and they are pointed and they're about yeah four inches maybe okay from hilt to whatever it's four about four and a half inches so they're a lot bigger these are my usual ones that I use they're about three and a half maybe four inches but now these are not my gingers my gingers sit over on my table over there and these are my extra ones I think I got these maybe at uh, one two three stitch or no I got these remember the sewing store I'm always talking about that's where I got them and they only had says right there somewhere Faymore I think I don't see the name anymore I've used them so much but I don't see the name at all but I think they're Faymore oh, I don't think it's famous I think it's Faymore or something like that so yeah I just wanted to see what these would be like they're very sharp and I would add just a touch of maybe oh if you have WD-40 or 3-in-1 oil, just put a little bit there and it'll probably make them move a lot better. They're, they're new, so they've not been used a lot. But they fit in your hand really nice and big. And has big holes in it. So, yeah, and beautiful little roses. I don't know if you can see that or not. Bring it down and try to hold my hand still. But nice little gold work, if you will. Leaves up there and roses. They're quite heavy, so you, you can't lose them. So, yeah, I thought that was something a little bit different. Let me get my magnet out from underneath my hand. Whoop, went the wrong way. I'm so sorry. Okay. Speeding right along, I got another one of these little embroidery kits. And... There's the picture. Uh, kind of hold it up where you can see it. It's like a vase with some flowers and stuff in it. And they look to be all um, 
like satin stitch type stuff. So we'll see. Ooh, it does have some Krynic in it. Or Krynic like. Oh, this is a spectacular. Yeah. The sticker. It's not sticking real hard. It's just, it was there. So it just attached itself to everything. Whoops. We don't need the sticker. I'll put a piece of plastic or tape on it to keep it shut. But I'll just lay them right there. Let's straighten out the the colors now. Beautiful colors. Nice springy looking colors. You got red, orange, yellow. Well, maybe not orange, but bright yellow. And there's some silver thread of some kind. I'm trying to get to the end and it has multiple ends on it. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. Maybe it's the bottle. Maybe we're going to do something different. What does that say? It says two strands to uh, do the outline stitch here. So that might be a piece of work. There's maybe one full strand. I don't know how big this is going to be. But yeah, I couldn't figure out what we were using silver for. But look at those purples. And the pinks. And all that green. There are six different shades of green. Two purple. Four pink. We have red. Oh, there's an orange. Sorry, he was hiding. Kind of an orange color. Orangish red. And a bright yellow. So, yeah. Lots of pretty colors. Very nice. Very soft. Does come with an instruction page. By the Cherish Company. And as you can see, it's pretty much. I don't see any. I'm looking to see if there's any. Uh, what do you call them? Oh, help me, help me, Rhonda. French knots. No French knots. It's mostly outline stitch, satin stitch. Oh, there's a couple of French knots. I had to throw them in, in the stamens of the flowers. And straight stitch and long and short stitch more French knots in the center so very few but not these aren't very big it's very nice that way so as you can see it's not a very it's got a huge piece of material oh I forgot to show you the back hang on we're just getting ahead of ourselves but on the back it has you know the color number on the thread card and the DMC and the color that you're going to use I guess yeah but it tells you how to start with the stems and then work on to the leaves and then put the flowers in a little bit at a time and then at the last do the chronic part so yeah it'll be interesting but these are fairly simple it does have some most of the stitches listed right here on how to do it you know step by step what to do first what to do second so that's always nice yeah very well put together kit now this kit was it's supposed to be a 33 by 33 it was 6.99 let's get this out from underneath here so we don't have any more hoopties with that get rid of the pieces of paper we don't need it and you can certainly put this, this has a nice heavier canvas. It feels like duct cloth, if you will, or oil cloth that hasn't been treated with oil. It is, oh my goodness, get everything turned over. We're having a day today. So it is 33 by 31 and a half, maybe a little bit more. So it's about a 12, but you can make this into a smaller frame, is what I'm saying. And the actual thing is only about mm, 4 inches by top to bottom, almost 7 inches. So you could put it in an 8 by 10 frame, you know, and leave some of this out on the background. <coughs> and I don't know if, let me see here. Our ink water solu soluble should not be wetted during work. All right, so when you're done, you can 
you know, rinse it out and clean it or whatever afterward. I wouldn't throw it in the sewing machine or in the washing machine for any reason, but yeah. And you just soak it in clean water and let the marks go away. The white mark on dark... Oh, we don't have dark cloth because we wouldn't be that insane. But yeah, it's just going to be a beautiful little pattern. Just nice, plain, and simple. So, yeah. Let's put this in here. And get it all. Comes all nicely packaged in, like an envelope. And I'm like looking for my... That paper just won't go away. I'm just going to give it a couple pieces of tape and put it up there. And that way we don't lose anything. Ah, oh, crap. I'm sorry. You know what I forgot to look at? I'm sure it does, but I didn't see any. It doesn't come with a needle. Does it not come with... It? There's no needles in here whatsoever. Well, that's different, but I have my own needles, so I'm not real worried, but I'd be worried for the person that's never done this before. No, there's no needles attached there at all. That's kind of odd. Now, unless I knocked it off on the floor or something, I, I just truly don't see any. So, you would think it would. Normally, they do. All right, let's see what else we have. Now, I know this is christmas E looking. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty. And I like, they have a whole line of like a cup with like a lemon or or uh, lime slices or cake or something. But I do like the ones with the fruit, maybe even a lemon slice. So check that out. They're all about the same size. But I just happened to like this one. Put the thing up there. And it's kind of been through the, the washer here. But, yeah, isn't that beautiful? It better have... Yeah, it does. Okay. I'm like freaking already. Doesn't have a number down here. Some of the DIY cross stitch does. But it's not a very big pattern. This one is... Uh, it's called Spices, and it was $6.99, and it's supposed to be 30 by 40 So let me pull this out and see. Yeah, it's like, where is the instruction page? Sometimes it's behind the other, but yeah. It has 25 colors. It is a partial. You don't do the background, so it's not very big. It has all the colors, DMC, symbols, and numbers. Just like normal. Doesn't look too bad. Not very confetti. Maybe some confetti. See, like I told you, when you get into trees and branches and stuff like that, sometimes it's pretty confetti. But this just has little blotches of confetti in it. So, not too bad. Let's take a look at the colors. There's a sticker on here that matches the paper. The paper does have the product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. It is 86 by 129. Let's move the scissors, other scissors, so I don't get all stuffed. All right, so let's look at these beautiful colors. And they're kind of fall colors, kind of winter colors. I love that green. They're, this is just being a pain in the neck. There we go. Doesn't have any 310 in it. Looks like 3371 here. Um, no, 939 has 938, which is number 17, which is a brown, but it is 3371, no 310, or 823, no bl dark blues. This is as dark a blue as it gets right here, but yeah, just beautiful, and I think that goes for the, uh, the ribbon that is holding it up. But, yeah, you could do a lot with this. Let me show you when I open it up. does have two needles right there. At least something had needles, right? 
well, it is kind of big. Never mind. I was going to say you could make a Christmas ornament out of it. But, you know, I mean, you still could. You could take this and you could, uh, like, applique it down onto something. And then make it into, like, a pillow to sit somewhere for Christmas and that kind of thing. Has a nice big key. Everything matches the paper. Does have the product number and how big it is and the squares per square. This one isn't very darkly printed, but it's not bad until you get over here and things are made out of lines. Like you have a line this way and then you have a, what is that, the greater than or less than, you know, sideways arrow. So there's a lot of that up in there, in that greens. But other than that, I mean, you can see it, so very big big huge key it does have the colors and it does have <coughs> the uh, I don't know where I was going with that that just went completely out of my there's a salvage edge right here so they're gonna probably give you more so it is 31 and a half so it's about a half a centimeter longer by mm, 40 and a half so quite big the actual picture is, I wouldn't have thought it was going to be this big. I never thought about it, I guess. Uh, it looks like hmm, pretty close to 20 centimeters, which is about 8 inches by uh, a tad over 30. Well, that, yeah, tad over 30. So, it's not very big, but it makes something nice that you, you wanted to put it up for Christmas or in the fall ish you know going into winter type picture because it doesn't really scream Christmas or anything like that it just to me it denotes winter you know you have I have hot spice chai in the winter and we also have um, spiced um, apple cider that kind of thing so every once in a while we get spiced wine but not very often because nobody but me will drink it, so not very much. All right. Well, that is just quite beautiful. <coughs> and it's there's a lot of that yellow stitching right there, which is... Now, there's two yellow. Oh, I'm looking at this. I'm like, there's two symbols that are both the same. No. Okay, the yellow is that 3371, and then you're going to have the lighter color. So, there's not too terribly big amount of anything that goes with it. Nice canvas. It's not surged all the way around. So, yeah. And that one, did I tell you, was $6.99. Now, this one, this is called Year After Year, There Are Lotus Flowers. Yeah. Let's have a big, long, long explanation. This is a 49 by 49. It is an 11 count. It is 170 by 170 squares. Let's get it out of the bag. I've never had this company before. We're getting all kinds of different new companies. Let's see what this looks like. Beautiful picture. Just absolutely beautiful. And this is a sticker. I can tell because of the way it it is. It's yeah, it's a sticker. Huh. Sometimes they are and sometimes they ain't. But very nice. It's got koi going around it. There's some kind of symbol right here. And these beautiful lotus blossoms. Just gorgeous. And a pale lotus in the background. It's like it's all sitting on the water and a nice tree You've got some water a couple Chinese characters don't know if that name is what that is does have the product number right here with a nice big sticker now let's take a look at this like I said never had one of these it's here and then the rest of it is at the bottom so not very big it has 552 no I'm just kidding it has, um, thank God, um, 33 colors, 
and I will have to look at it to see if any of this matches. But nice big printed paper, you know, and it's all grafted all the way around. So you just got to figure out which symbol where, you know, if you need to. So that's quite nice. And it has back stitching and cross stitching. No, uh, help me, Rhonda. None of those French knots. Jeez, I'm having the worst time with that word today. It does come with an instruction page that's usually on the back of a Joy Sunday, but sometimes they include it as a separate thing in the the kit, which is very nice, very big, very easy to read, very well printed, and you even have how to make your stitches at the bottom, and it's clear here on the back. It does come with a little kit. It has four needles. It has a needle threader, a thimble, and a poof ball. So, yeah, that's cool. Let's take a look at all these colors I'm trying. Oh, and before I stab myself, there's another needle right there. So you get five needles. Ooh, look at those blues. <gasps> Ugh, they're to die for. And the canvas is surged all the way around. Yeah, I'll probably tell you twice. I'm looking to see if there's any big hunks of thread. There isn't. There. So everything is all on a card. They have four cards. What is going on? Well, this is 24. Let's see, 10 to 24. Huh. They gave me two cards of all the threads. Okay, I'll go with that. Because usually that don't turn out in my favor. So, we have extra thread. I don't know why they would do that. But yeah, beautiful. They must have grabbed it and thought it was one. But look at those aquas. Green, seafoam, green, blues, turquoise. Uh, and that's just, that's just the first four or five colors. Yeah. And yeah, we have the same thing here. Yeah. Same thing, but look at these. These are going to have the colors of the fish. I'm trying. Okay, you just take a hike. Take my word for it, there are two of these two. But lots of oranges, reds, turquoise. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. Just beautiful. A little bit of red to brighten out the... Where did it go? You know, to show up the red here and the pinks. So there's some dark pinks. And for the fish. But it's not very big. So it's a 50 by 50, which would make it about a 40 by 40. So we'll see what it looks like. Whoops, let's get all the thread together. So I'm not sure why that all happened, but we got enough thread here to make two of these. Hopefully. <laughs> let's just try to get through one, okay? Yeah, you know me. You know me by now. Wasn't that a song? If you don't know me, I can't sing. By now. I can't think of his name. 70s somewhere. If you don't know me by now. Hmm, can't remember. Okay, let's see. Top to bottom. Okay, turn it around. Very nice printed fabric. No, this key does not match the one that they gave you. Everything is different. Yep. And that needle's still down there. But yeah, it's a very nice size. It's not too big. I'm liking these size. I like the round ones. I like working on the round ones. Yeah. It is surged all the way around. I know. I See, I told you I'd tell you twice. Because now I even remembered that I told you when I was in the middle of telling you again. Oh my goodness, I don't know how you people put up with me. Okay, it is 47 centimeters that way. And 46 centimeters this way. The actual inside pattern is... Come on, come on. Is... 39 and a half, which is about 15 and a half that way, and about 
little over 15 this way so it's like 38 and a few little lines I don't know what those are milliliters I don't know I don't know my metric yeah I was never schooled in that but it does show you down here that it takes um, back stitching now I'm assuming that this reddish purple is here I'm looking never seen that quite done like that not finding where the dark purple is let says oh yeah right no I don't know what's gonna happen there but that ain't gonna happen it's too small it looks like it's supposed to be all in like this but it's not it, it it's just one couple, couple mass things I don't know what that is so we may have to leave that off I'm not real sure it has it listed under the uh, oh what do you call it under the back stitching here <coughs> excuse me but very well printed it's kind of light but once you, you know, you get up to it, you can see what the things are. And it's an 11 count as well. It's just beautiful. There's some big, big areas. does have the product number there. Let me see if I can start here and just kind of move it along real slow. So you can see the whole thing. But it's kind of one of those that's light printed or it has a lot of lines for the symbol sometimes that doesn't work so hot but I mean it's sometimes very hard to see but it's printed dark enough I can see it it's just I don't know it might be one of those things that I have to do one color at a time you know what I mean jelly bean but yeah nice and big and I have several that are this basic size. So what did I say it was after? It was almost 40 across. So it's almost 50 the whole thing. And then it's the whole circle on the inside is 40 centimeters. So you lose about 10 centimeters. But the graft is, or not graft, your key is very nice. It's a little bit, let me fold this in half so that I can have a thing underneath it to see the the stitching does kind of come into the numbers a little bit so you really don't need this as long as you've got this and the the number here it's fine because it is written in there what the each threads DMC number is so yeah all right guys well, this is the end of part two, and tomorrow we're going to have part three, and I will start one of the projects that I got in from them. So, join us tomorrow for that. Now, Biggest Craft does have only cross-stitch. It does not have diamond painting. It has embroidery, and it also has crafts. In embroidery and cross stitch I'm not real sure if it has beaded cross stitch it does have they do have an 18% off sale store wide right now for any item you get 18% off and they do have free shipping on orders over $49 and they have a clearance section right now of up to 55% off so check that out. They have like a separate section of that. And anything in there has its is a clearance thing. So they may not get it again. They may. I have no idea how that all works. And they do have a special Joy Sunday section. So do go check them out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And we will see you next time. And thank you, Biggest Craft, for all these beautiful projects. We're going to start one tomorrow. Bye-bye.